What's going on you guys? Uh, this is the long awaited video that I haven't kind of done yet. So um, here's the update on the bus. Um, so far, I know I've been slacking on, on some videos, but we have some good news. So I've already done a 1400 kilometer uh, road trip with it. It was good. Um, the bus kind of exceeded our expectations. It worked really great uphill, downhill. The kind of the road that we took is very hilly, if that's even a word. Um, but it went good uphill, uh, pretty scary downhill, <laughs> just because of the road and the area. So. Um, yeah, that trip went well. We liked it. We spent about almost two weeks in the bus. So got everything going. It worked perfect. Um, like I said, it exceeded the expectations. Um, and since that trip, I think we've done uh, about two or three more camping trips, just like uh, weekend trips in the area here. Um, so yeah, um, just trying to think what I need to update you on as far as the bus goes. So right now, as it stands, it's not complete, like 100% complete. Um, there's still some small work to do to it, but for now, I just want to enjoy it. And uh, pretty much it's nice weather so I don't want to be stuck just working on it and um, yeah so I'm gonna take you on a quick tour here and show you where we're at so far um, some bad news is I can't keep the bus parked in my back alley here because some individual in this area I won't call him a neighbor because neighbors don't do that on neighbors um, some individual decided to phone parking authority on me and I guess I can't have it parked in my alley anymore. So um, long story short, um, our neighbors Scott and Tiffany came to the rescue and they said I can park it in their yard because they do have the space. So um, big shout out to Scott and Tiffany for letting me park there for now until we we find some I guess other solution or I'm not sure what but kind of thinking about it now uh yeah so I'll have to take you guys around into their yard because that's where the bus is parked um just trying to think what else I need to update you on since last video um because it's been it's been a while and I take full responsibility for not kind of putting out more and more videos um, even though we're kind of like coming to an end with the completion so I can't do um, videos as I've been doing them before like every Wednesday um, now there's just big three more I think three more big steps in in the build so um, then it'll be done and I kind of have to move on to another project which I'm not sure what it's gonna be um, I have a couple options I have a couple ideas hopefully they turn out to be okay and uh, for you guys to like so um, yeah okay I'm gonna take you around and we'll go check out the bus. Super nice day here. It's supposed to be about uh, 30, 30 degrees, so that's really hot for Calgary. So just over in the neighbor's yard here, uh, open the gate, there it is, it's uh, 
parked next to their travel trailer and they actually fit perfect side by side so I was kind of worried that it was going to be a bit too long but look at those clear blue skies so there it is um, the exterior stays the same for now until uh, I guess we paint the um, exterior uh, hang on it's a bit tight in here so this is kind of the moment you've uh, you've been waiting for um, I don't know if you saw on, on the last videos but I had to put a lock just to make sure that people don't go in without you knowing I'm trying to take stuff but so here it is um, I think one of the videos you saw me doing the floor um, I had to do the stairs as well I think it looks pretty decent here um, lots of work and all the stair area here it took about one and a half boxes of vinyl so lots of small cuts here big planks here and then big planks along the side so overall it looks pretty good um, I don't know I'll let you guys be the judge of that um, here's the floor that you've already seen in the last video and the cabinet so I guess we'll just start off with the kitchen area so here is the kitchen area we got our kitchen cabinets uh, fridge is back there and then we have the microwave on top of the fridge right here um, and then my wife uh, she put up some curtains which if we're in a campground and we don't want people to see in then we just pull these uh, privacy curtains so that way nobody sees what we're doing in here we're not doing much anyway so um, just hang out here's the sink um, got some um, I don't know organizers from Ikea just to put some of the junk in there um, junk by, by junk I mean keys and all that good stuff so um, up at the front here I haven't done much kept the stock um, chair captain's chair which I'm gonna have to change um, change either the seat or just reapplaster it um, everything else stay the same other than I just put in a new deck uh, it's got Bluetooth and all that stuff so you can connect it to USB aux cord or your phone uh, right now we're about at about 150 thousand K's so I think we've put on um, I'd say about 2,000 plus maybe kilometers so far or more not sure the exact number um, maybe in the future I'm gonna do like this big um, here some storage or I don't know still debating on that um, I still got to do a receptacle back here so I can mount the TV but for now we just threw on the Canadian flag because when we took off on our big trip it was Canada Day so that's just been hanging up there since then and it kind of takes that space up and you don't just see a big white wall behind so kept the same storage thingy above the driver's side um, it's good for for putting lots of stuff in there um, okay let's move on to the living area so right here we picked this thing up from Ikea I'm not sure if this will be the permanent solution or temporary solution um, it's pretty comfy you can sleep one person on this so um, not sure yet but we may plan on doing a pull-out futon so I might have to build that build that or I might not still deciding on that same thing we got curtains on this side so 
I think if I pull them, we'll get some uh, better footage. There we go. So curtains work really well. Um, as I was saying, so we got this futon here. Um, yes, it's a bit dirty because uh, when you go camping, it's not so clean. So first we take dirt bikes, quads, really dirty. So yeah, um, we got our kitchen dining table. Um, so this, this table will be uh, permanent. Uh, what won't be permanent is these two chairs, so the plan is to build um, Over here. I'm gonna build um, Kind of like two benches that you can sit on at the table and they will have also Storage underneath so we need lots of storage. It will help and it'll be better looking um, Hang on. Let me just get my all right, so back to the dining table my uh my phone rang um so yeah like i said these aren't gonna be here i'm gonna build a bench on that side and on this side and it's gonna have lots of storage um uh, moving on to the back or i should say so that thing there let me give you a close-up so this is a heat outlet from the diesel heater that I'll show you in the back so I got one here and I got one over there so what the what that does is it gives out heat when it's cold at night so um, yeah I'll show you more of that later um, here are the bunk beds so I got one bunk bed down there um, one bunk bed up here still have to paint this like I said not everything is complete I'll ha still have to paint that um, pretty much the bottom bunk bed is done and ready and according to my son and my brother-in-law they are really comfy so um, even these blankets are really cozy so um, here let's move on to the shower that's not complete so for now the shower is not complete we're just using it as storage I do have um, a plan to maybe complete it by the end of the camping season here um, but it's tough with going out every weekend and then coming back and working on it so um, it'll be complete at some point sooner rather than later that's what i wanted to do so yeah this is not complete but for showering i do have a solution so this window here opens up and then this you can just spin the sink and uh, just pull out this put it out the window and yes you can shower if you have to so um there Okay, hey, so let's go to the utility room. So, if you remember back in the videos, this was the utility room. So, got our electrical panel back there, um, switch for the 12 volt pump, and then we got our receptacle for the hot water tank. So, what I did, I uh, plumbed in the um, hot water tank, which gives you Guess what? Hot water. Uh, rough in for the shower. So once we start doing the shower, these uh, pipes will be going in there for the shower. Um, let me see what else. We got our 12 volt pump back there. So that's used to pull the water from the tank and distribute it to the sinks, shower, toilet, whatever we got on here. So. Um, I'll never plan on doing anything else to this room as it's the utility room and utility rooms don't need to be complete. But this thing it came in very handy. It works great. It was $200 on Amazon. So, um, I do recommend it if you want to use it. So, 
Okay, let's move on to the bathroom. So just around the corner is the bathroom. So here's, uh, it's pretty tight in there. So we already did cover the windows with some um, film just so people don't see you in there. Um, got a little mirror on there. We got our um, bathroom sink. So that's basically hanging right on top of the wheel well. So that's how I kind of had it in mind uh, when I planned this out. So um, there it is. Here's the toilet. Um, it's a standard size toilet and it works really great. And yes, it's plumbed in. It works with water. It's not one of those eco-friendly, very expensive ones. So I'd rather have to deal with a black water tank. Uh, but yeah, here is the toilet. So, okay, from the toilet, we're moving on to the bedroom. This is the finished bedroom. So we left the window back there um, just for air circulation if we need it or not and then this is kind of you can I guess you can set your pillows whichever side you want to um, right now we just had them set there just because our last trip the bus was a bit of on an angle so that's why we moved the pillows to this side and then of course we got your light switch uh, receptacle and this here is the thermostat for our heater and I put it back here because it's easy to use when you're cold in bed at night so you can just um, turn around in bed turn it on and you'll be nice and warm same things we got some uh, blackout window covers here um, that you can just pull when you sleep if you don't want um, the light in the morning uh, bed is kind of messy um, keep in mind that we just got back from a camping trip so if you see anything dirty or not organized well guess what we're using it so yeah um, got a light up here too um, that works well um, yeah so this is it for the interior, um, still a few small things to finish, so gotta paint this thing, um, some small trim work, still gotta do the benches, um, yeah, so this is it for now, kinda looks pretty good, so let me know what you guys think, if you like it, if you don't like it, if you don't like it. Oh well, I like it and we're using it and it's lovely. And the biggest thing is when you do go into a campsite, everyone gives you either thumbs up or whatever hand signs possible to tell you that the bus is really cool. So. Um, with that being said, let's go around the back and I'll show you what I've done there too. Um, to kind of put it in perspective. Whew, it's getting pretty hot out here. Oh, pretty tight in here. Okay, so we're around back. It may be pretty dirty in here, so let me see. Ooh, okay. So, back there, underneath that chair, that shouldn't be on top of that, that's the diesel heater. Um, storing some chairs in here. Got the diesel, extra diesel for the heater. We got our generator here. If we don't have a hookup to the campsite or we're doing off-grid camping, this here is the diesel tank for the heater, which eventually <clears throat> I'll hook up the um, the diesel directly to the tank since the bus is a diesel bus. So, got a little barbecue here. 
and we get our water tank so one back there one back here um, they're all plumbed you can individually shut them off if you want to use one rather than the other I just keep both on get pretty much same usage out of them um, yeah so that's it for back here it's mainly mainly just storage so um, this generator works really well it's pretty quiet and lightweight it doesn't use up a lot of gas um, it's a Furman I don't know the model and whatever but it was I think roughly $600 so pretty good for the money and uh, yeah that uh, let me just close this Um, thanks to the neighbors for letting me park here. Let's go back in here. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I think I've kind of covered everything off. Um, let me know if I missed anything or you wanted to see anything else. But for now, um, let me just take a seat here. For now, it's good for us. We use it, we like it. Um, yes, there's still some work to be done. Um, and hopefully I can do some more videos on it and uh, keep you guys um, in the loop with what's happening with, with the build here. So, hope you like this video. Um, continue subscribing to the channel I'm not sure what's coming up as far as projects I do have a couple things in mind so just kinda stay tuned and uh, check it out for whenever it happens um, but once again thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video peace